So today I want to talk about five uncommon signs of a potassium deficiency. A lot of people understand that potassium is involved with the heart, the rhythm of the heart, uh, maybe blood sugars, uh, nerve and muscle physiology. But what they might not realize, it's involved in a lot of other things as well. Energy metabolism, protein synthesis, and actually making muscle. Uh, glucose metabolism, the conversion of glucose to glycogen, which is the storage form of glucose. So one of the biggest symptoms of a potassium deficiency is fatigue. Okay, you just, you just lose your energy. All right, number two, low endurance or low stamina. You just run out of gas fast, especially when you're working out or climbing a, a stairs. So you basically just run out of energy a lot quicker than you should. Number three, increase urination at night. So many times we're thinking diabetes or prediabetes, but it could be a potassium deficiency. But that potassium deficiency could be coming because you're a diabetic, because insulin resistance is involved. And when you have insulin resistance, you can't really absorb uh, potassium and magnesium that well. And just as a side note, it's very, very important to take extra potassium and magnesium if you have diabetes or you have insulin resistance. Uh, that will actually help the urination at night. Next one is constipation. Because of the necessity of potassium involved in the smooth muscle uh, that forms the colon. And number five, paralysis after a high carb meal. When you consume a lot of carbohydrates, your need for potassium goes way up because potassium is involved in not just energy metabolism, but glucose metabolism as well. And you have the shift of this electrolyte out of the muscle cell, getting a temporary paralysis. And this relates to even myself because when I was getting married 29 years ago, uh, Karen and I uh, went to shop for um, wedding cakes. So I don't know, we were sampling all these cakes. Uh, this is before I knew anything about nutrition. And uh, then we ended up at an Italian restaurant and we had all carbs, pizza, pasta. I was doing wine uh, that was really sweet. And then right at the end, I noticed that they were actually uh, taking these carts of all these dessert samples that would come around to the table. And they mentioned, would you like to sample any of these before we toss these? And of course, in my mind, I don't want to waste that good food, right? So we started sampling all this sugar, all these desserts for probably another half hour. It was really bad. So that was a high carb meal. As we're driving home, I notice my heart is pounding like crazy. I get into the house and I feel like faint. I feel tired. My muscles are weak, like my legs are they feel like, uh, like cement. I didn't sleep one minute that night. My heart was racing. I was totally awake. So that might have not have been a paralysis, but it was definitely a side effect from doing too many carbs. Okay, guys. So, and also realize that you need 4,700 milligrams of potassium. And some people need a little bit more, especially if they're doing a hardcore workouts. And you would get this mainly from these things called vegetables. Even though those are carbohydrates, they're loaded with potassium. They're actually low in sugar. And so that's what you would consume to build up your potassium reserve. Thanks for watching. So if you want to get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.